And you know, as you as you might have heard, um, Oklahoma finally identified um, Omicron stealth here in the state of Oklahoma, um, and actually uh, from a, a Tulsa County resident. And so we know it's here. Uh, we know it's even more transmissible than transmissible than Omicron. So far, um, and look at the data from all over the country, it hasn't shown to be near as impactful um, as as Omicron. So there's probably a, a great representation that that antibody from um, Omicron infection and, of course, vaccinations. Um, provide a certain level of, of immunity because we're not seeing a huge increase of cases, as you know, and um, which I think is great news. So while we know Omicron self is out there, we'll continue to watch it, continue to monitor it. Um, at this juncture, it hasn't been impactful, and, and hopefully over time, that's going to continue to be the case. The unvaccinated continue to be at, at greater risk for um, infection. And, you know, if you're, if you're fully vaccinated and you're up to date, you're boosted, chances are you can go into your workplace and not wear a mask and be very, very safe. But if you're unvaccinated, um, then you pose a greater risk to yourself and really to those around you. So, you know, if you're unvaccinated, just just to, to be a caring human being and care for the people around you, I, I think it's it's a great recommendation to continue to wear a mask until we, especially until we transition away from that, that high community risk level. Once you get to moderate or low, I think, we can have some great conversations about not wearing the mask period, regardless of vaccination status, but we're not there. Um, so right now, it's the right recommendation over time, as uh, as we have seen for the entire pandemic, recommendations will change. We'll continue to follow data and hopefully give you all the, the best recommendation based on the data at that moment.